Today's topic is on the failed Senate career of Richard Burr. We have some external people like Diane Feinstein, uh, a lot of a lot of Jews on this. But anyway, um, what we have here is Senator Richard Burr, uh, the really uh, boomer who is from the state of North Carolina, previous congressional district holder of the fifth. Um, he specifically is a very uh, not necessarily super conservative guy in the grand scheme of things and he's not the biggest Trump guy but the point is he is up to go to the Senate losing his face why today it has been found out that he has known about the coronavirus for weeks in ahead and look we all knew about it since maybe January but let's factor in the fact that he didn't he knew basically that it was going to get to this point three weeks before it happened and he purposely knew when it was going to peak and that it is the stock market stock market if you were to look at the dow jones in 2020 you would see ostensibly that it peaked around february 21st and then it nosedived okay what happened People like Ron Johnson, Republican senator from Wisconsin, Richard Burr of North Carolina, Dianne Feinstein of California, Democrat, and most especially the senator Kelly Loeffler appointed by Jack uh, Brian Kemp, governor of Georgia, appointed her who's going in the special election in 2020 against primary challenger in the jungle primary very soon. Uh, Doug Collins. Now, Doug Collins didn't seem to have too good of a chance until just now when even Kelly Loeffler, not very popular, appointed, okay, corrupt, came for money. She was trading millions of dollars, apparently, in stocks, including all the people I had mentioned before. All these senators had millions of dollars in the stock exchange, pulled them out when they had this intelligence briefing together. That in which they were predicting to lose a lot of money in the stock, so they pulled out. The these these evil people just pulled out, and they knew ahead of time what hell we're gonna go into. And not only did they not sound the alarm, they did not, as public people say, this is going to happen. We project this. Please get ready, Trump. Get the mask. Get to get do the Defense Powers Act or whatever that is. No, they did not do that. They opportunistically saw what happened. They said, let's keep this on the down low, pulled out their money before everybody else could. So to all those people that have lost 60% of their retirement gains over the last several years, to those people that have lost tens of thousands of dollars in the last two months, let me tell you something. These greedy senators could have told you, hey, look, on TV, even together, it would have been even bigger. They could have said, the stock market's going to go down. This is going to get exponentially worse. But no, they downplayed it this entire time only for them to pull out their own money and let us all suffer because of it. That is exactly the type of politician we don't need. And when you have this trending on Twitter, both Republicans and Democrats are going against this. And I'm recording this at the same night that it's happening. And, you know, the president and not even the senators have really gotten a chance to speak about it yet. But I suppose that he must resign, Burr, that is. Burr is getting most of the blame. Feinstein at the bottom of this trending page. But anyway, I believe that this insider trading does war warrant a, I think, complaint. And if not, just for the symbolism of it, I believe in it. And I think that Donald Trump should throw Richard Burr under the bus anyway. Look, I think it's going to be a safe speed. Well, North Carolina is a close state. But with such a tainted career that Burr has... I think that in the future, you're better off having some a guy that's 10 years younger that's a better future senator for North Carolina in an election that won't happen for another couple of years at least. So I think it, it'd be the right call to pressure Burr into dropping out. This is going to easily kill his approval rating with the constituents that not only lost like half of their retirement earnings this month, but known that their senator could have helped them and saved them and warned them but they, he did nothing. 
He did insider trading, and he opportunistically did that for his own gain. This is not to be respected. I am very mad, and I even tweeted about it. it is, you know, These people do not deserve to have federal money use that money to buy private stocks and then pull out when they know the stock exchange is going to go down and not tell us before then. <laughs> this is a serious, serious problem. And I really do believe that this is going to point really bad in a record for a conservative like him. Very atrocious. Very embarrassing, too. And this is bipartisan. I think we can all agree. Insider trading is wrong. I don't think at all that, you know, that you have to necessarily be anti-capitalist. But a capitalist should say you should be honest about it. You should not lie about it. And, you know, this goes to show that all the politicians, ostensibly speaking, are into some sort of corrupt thing where it's a gray area or maybe it's not a technical ethics violation. But it certainly is scummy. And I really do think that people like Tucker Carlson, who's a Republican and a conservative, are calling these people out for a good reason. Okay? Very interesting developments we're seeing these days. And it kind of gets to my stomach you know it makes me sick that these people did not say anything until they were caught and even then they're hesitating to say anything they are scared <sighs> okay why did a businesswoman get appointed to a senate seat and then not to be expected that she has some bad money in bad places a very bad look and look this is going to affect Richard Burr. It is going to affect a guy like Ron Johnson that's in a state that is not safe red. Kelly Loeffler is most definitely affected in this case with an election coming right up. And Jim Einhoff of Oklahoma dumped $450,000 in stock, about half a million in a day, let's say. And look, this guy is running for election this year. Will it matter? I don't really think so, but, you know, still, not a good look. Everybody loses. This is just a bad look for everybody, and I really hope that Donald Trump stands to principle and attacks these people because they simply do not have the vigor to stay in the Congress any longer. They are really disrespecting the people's authority over what they are, and that is to represent them. Even Ben Shapiro would say that, while we have to look at all this evidence, the political and legal ramifications should be dire. And I completely agree. I do believe the story that they're all in on it because it is a bipartisan solution in so far or accusation that even Dianne Feinstein was a part of it. Dianne Feinstein and Nancy Pelosi, notorious for being big money fundraisers and corporatist shills that simply do not have the interests of the people at heart. And a main reason why they're still in the Senate is in the Congress is because they're old women that have been there around for decades fundraising from the same people, investing in the same stocks, and when they find out in their own little intelligence committee that there's something bad going to happen and they don't tell us, they take advantage of us. And this is evil. And you can see this from the right wing, you can see this from the left wing, and it's infuriating. Then... You even have implications spread and they and they butterfly branch or whatever that is. And it even goes to Sony Purdue or whoever the guy is, David Purdue, that is a part of the of the establishment in Georgia. This is terrible. Why is somebody so high up in our society doing such corrupt things? This is not Brazil, this is not Venezuela, this is not Cuba, this is not even the Ukraine. This is America that we're talking about. And as seen, you know, Kelly Loeffler can definitely not defend herself. She's calling this a baseless attack on her Twitter. She says that she does not make investment decisions for her portfolio. That's ridiculous. You're telling me that she's not making any decisions in her stock portfolio with millions of dollars. And if that's the case, then re really, why does she have millions of dollars? Can she not park it? Why is she having investments being done during her political career? 
That's just asking for a big blow up like this. And look at what happened. Even if I give her the benefit of the doubt, she is simply not a very competent person, apparently. All right? Very embarrassing from the floor of the Senate. And I think that this is good because it won't be a Democrat issue or a Republican issue. It is an American issue to assess with the problems that are going on over the greater problems that we have with sickness in the country i think it's important to identify that there is corruption on both sides now thank you for watching the video like and subscribe if you enjoyed comment down below what you think and as always i am out